in good entertainment, a famous director wants to watch a movie with you. David Daniel has that and more in our Hollywood Minute. Welcome to the launch of the AFI Movie Club, where all you have to do to become a member is to love movies. Steven Spielberg kicked off the American Film Institute's new venture aimed at creating communal experiences while we're all staying home. Special guests will introduce an iconic movie each day with fun facts and more listed at AFI.com. Appropriately, the first film was The Wizard of Oz with its message, there's no place like home. I hoped today might be a good day. 1917 may not have won the Best Picture Oscar, but it's topping the chart, the iTunes U.S. Movie Chart. The World War I film ranks number one on the most recent iTunes list, followed by the adventure Jumanji The Next Level and the animated film Onward. Two music stars are making seven-figure donations towards COVID-19 response efforts. Rihanna's Clara Lionel Foundation announced $5 million in grants last week, and now it's adding another $1 million, which is being matched by Jay-Z's Sean Carter Foundation. The money will go to groups in New York and Los Angeles supporting undocumented workers, children of first responders and health workers, and other groups threatened by coronavirus. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. And after nearly a decade, Detective Elliot Stabler going to once again grace our television screens. Christopher Maloney reportedly reprising his role on Law & Order SVU. It's in a new spinoff. NBC picked up the unnamed series for 13 episodes. It will reportedly follow Elliot as he heads up the organized crime division of the New York City Police Department. Maloney left SVU in 2011 after season 12. On that show, his character retired from the police force. All right, I know you're going to be able to sleep better after hearing this. I'm sure I will. Ariana Grande has a new look. The 26-year-old singer got rid of her trademark ponytail. Yes, yeah, she showed off her natural curls on Instagram. A couple of years ago, Grande posted that she wore the ponytail because she had a lot of damage from bleaching it. The new do? getting a lot of positive feedback on social media. Whew, glad to hear.